Hey guys, I'm Tyler Cravens and today we're going to be in Southern Ohio in parts of West Virginia which is home to several different types of snake species. One is poisonous and some are not. If your life depended on it, would you be able to tell the difference? Stick around because we're about to show you. Roll the intro! The Northeast hails as a fantastic backdrop for any adventure seekers. There's no location I feel more at home with than the Tri-State Hills and Backcountry. It's about 7.30 in the morning and this place is teeming with wildlife. It's looking like a good chance for us to find a snake. Now copperheads love rock shelves like this. They love to come back and get themselves tucked away in all these little nooks and these crannies popped around up in these rock shelves. Now let's see if we can spot one. Yep, that right there is a copperhead. That is 100% a copperhead. Due to the location where we found this snake, we decided to move him to a better location in case we found another snake just like him, which we did. There was two of them in the same spot. Now, priority number one is definitely safety right now. He's very poisonous. He's very dangerous. Uh, now these, these snakes are capable of striking a third of the length of their body. If I can head him and I'll show you. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, I tell you what, nothing will make you more nervous than catching one of the most venomous snakes in this area. And wow, this guy is absolutely beautiful. Now, I wanna have a firm but gentle hold on his head. But looking here, you can see his venom glands and this gives a great indication that I definitely don't want to be tagged by this guy because I'm going to be rushing to the hospital if so. These snakes are some of the most commonly seen species in North America and reported bites are common but it's only because they're stumbled upon because they're not seen because of their great camouflage. On this body of this snake, um, it is a very gorgeous, very pretty snake but it blends right in with the leaves and the underbrush uh, of this area and makes it extremely hard, extremely difficult to find and to see uh, when you're not paying attention, especially uh, you're just out for a hike and the snake sitting, you know, he gives you a little tag. Now this is a beautiful snake and I'm sure you're curious to see his fangs and so am I. So we'll just put this stick in his mouth like this it's completely fine and just pull his fangs out wow right there you can see these are actually just a set of modified teeth they're similar to hypodermic needles 
that will put you in a world of hurt. Now, when I encounter an animal, I like to make sure that I put it back in the exact same spot where I found it. So, we're just gonna release this guy right now. Why don't you guys go ahead, hit the like button, go and share this uh, with your friends and family. Go support if you really like this, uh, if you learned something, if you thought it was cool. Well, I'm Tyler Cravens, it's just starting to rain here, and I'm getting the heck out. We'll catch you guys on the next adventure. All right, guys, that's the end of for filming. Uh, I had an awesome time. We ended up having to turn it into a two-part video. The first day, I didn't find anything except for that snake skin. Um, still interesting. That is still my honey hole. But please tell me your thoughts. If you like it, go down like like the video. If, I'll make a deal with you guys. If it gets up to over 200 likes, this video, I will go out next weekend and I'll make another one. Now, due to the last video, there are several, several opportunities that I'm very excited about that I'm going to be bringing to you all. Um, please go share this. Go tell your friends and family. And if you haven't seen this video, watch this video. If you haven't seen that video, watch that video. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Go subscribe, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought. I already said subscribe about seven times.